This tutorial looks at questions 14 to 16 in the June 2009 web design section. It involves manipulating um, a style sheet that's already been given to us. So question 14 is using a suitable software package, in other words Dreamweaver, open the style sheet j9style1.css. And if we scroll down here in our files list, I can see J9 style 1. I double click that to open it. Now in this particular case, um, Cambridge have written this by hand, or written it in another package, and so all the styles are on one line. And as you can see, each style is separated by a semicolon. If this was written automatically within Dreamweaver, um, each of those styles would be on a separate line. Either way, a browser doesn't really care about that. It reads everything on one line anyway. So 15 is where we need to make some changes. We need to edit the style sheet so that first of all h1 tag is 48 points in size. So h1 is that first line. I can see the font size is already set to point so all I have to do is change it from 20 to 48. I need to make sure that H5 is left aligned. So we go down here, we've got color, font family, font size, and text align. Currently set to right, so let's change that to left. H4 is black. Now at the moment, we can see it's not black. Black, remember, in hex code is the equivalent of the absence of all colors. So these are six digit codes. So no color is the equivalent of zero in the zero to F range of 16 values in hex. So zero red, zero green, zero blue. Two digits for each of those, red, green, blue for your RGB colours, and all zeros means absence of all light or colour, in other words black. Now the red and green components of H1, 2, 3 and 5 remain the same, and there is no green component in any of these styles. So what that's saying is if we go up to H1. We think RGB, red, green, blue. Red stays the same, and then the last two, blue, stays the same, but there should be no green in any of the styles. So no green would be the equivalent of 00. zero. So let's change the double A here to 00. zero. Do the same for the two middle digits for H2. Remember, the two on the left is the red, and that stays the same according to this question. The two on the right is blue, that stays the same, but we want to get rid of any hint of green, so zero, zero. H3, same thing, change both of the middle characters there for green and RGB to zero, zero. And then H5, do the same. So a tiny little bit of green there goes to no green whatsoever. Now, the final thing here is to change the paragraph style so it has no red component. So RGB, no red component, are this, the first two. And the green and blue components are set to 50%. So if we think the range is from zero, absence of color, to F maximum of color. So that's 16 digits, so halfway in between is going to be 8. So if we change the green to 8, we change the blue values to 8, and then we've got our new color. And then 16 is we need to save the style sheet with a new file name, J9 style 2. So here pressing Control S isn't going to help us. We need to go Control Shift S or File Save As. Notice it's opened up into our root folder 
and if I just change it from J9 style 1 to J9 style 2, it already knows it's a style sheet or CSS, and then press save. And we can see our new file name is reflected in the files tab.